Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. The sentencing hearing for Army whistleblower Bradley Manning began Wednesday with a prosecution witness undermining the state's own claims Manning's disclosures to WikiLeaks harmed the United States. On Wednesday, retired Brigadier General Robert Carr, who oversaw the Pentagon task force assessing the leak's impact, admitted not a single person lost their life as a result of Manning's leaks. Pressed by Manning's defense on deaths resulting from the WikiLeaks cables, Carr said, quote, I don't have a specific example. Carr suggested the WikiLeaks cable's main harm to the U.S. was in souring relations with foreign governments and villagers in Afghanistan. Manning's facing 136 years in prison after being found guilty on 20 counts for leaking hundreds of thousands of government documents to WikiLeaks. He was acquitted on the most serious charge against him, aiding the enemy. The prosecution's expected to call up to 20 witnesses during the sentencing phase. The Senate held a long-awaited hearing on government surveillance Wednesday, just as new details emerged on the government spying exposed by NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden. The Guardian newspaper reports a secret NSA program called X Key Score has allowed analysts to search with no prior authorization through vast databases containing emails, online chats, and the browsing histories of millions of individuals. According to a slide presentation provided by Snowden, X Key Score gives NSA analysts real-time access to, quote, nearly everything a typical user does on the Internet. While the program's supposed to target overseas Internet users, The Guardian reports, X Key Score provides the technological capability, if not the legal authority, to target even U.S. persons for extensive electronic surveillance without a warrant. Speaking meanwhile before the Senate Intelligence Committee, NSA Deputy Director John Inglis conceded the bulk collection of phone records of millions of Americans under Section 215 of the Patriot Act has been key in stopping only one terror plot, not the dozens officials had previously said. We'll have more on the NSA surveillance after headlines. In breaking news, the Russian broadcaster RT is reporting whistleblower Edward Snowden's been issued travel papers and has already left the Moscow airport, where he's been stranded for over a month. Snowden had remained at the airport despite reports last week Russia had granted him temporary asylum. Snowden's father, meanwhile, has revealed the FBI tried to enlist him in traveling to Russia to convince his son to return to the United States. Speaking to a Russian television network, Lon Snowden said he refused to be an emotional tool for the FBI to use against my son to say, your father's out on the aircraft, why don't you come talk to him? I wasn't interested in that. I wanted to make sure there was value to my son. Ed, I hope you're watching. Uh, your family is well and we love you. We hope you're healthy. We hope you're well. Uh, I hope to see you soon. But most of all, I want you to be safe. Again, the breaking news is that Edward Snowden has been issued travel papers and has left the Moscow airport.